It's Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here coming to you from San Diego County. Joined today by Dan McAllister. He is the treasurer tax collector of this beautiful county. I want to speak with you. It is the season to pay property taxes. Indeed. And what we know is, unfortunately, some folks may not pay their property taxes. What happens when that happens? Well, let me first put it in context. Please. Out of 989,089 taxpayers, oh. i.e. parcel numbers, Got it. here in San Diego County. Almost a million. Almost 100% pay what right. they owe and they pay it on time. However, there's a slim, slight uh, minority uh, of people who choose not to pay right. their taxes. And under the laws of California, the laws suggest and say very clearly that if people refuse to pay their taxes for five years or more, the treasurer tax collector of each county then will have the right to sell the property to recover the missing taxes with interest and with penalties. So this can be a fairly onerous uh, uh, burden for taxpayers if they fail to pay. Now, prior to this year, if this happened in San Diego County mm -hmm. and you wanted or you needed to, by law, put up a property mm -hmm. to auction because you were able to collect the revenue to mm -hmm. pay off the back taxes, how would you have done that prior to this year? Well, prior to this year, we would have done a live auction and we would have done it at the convention center. Uh, in the past, we've attracted up to five, six, seven hundred people wow. who come, some to watch and some to participate. Uh, the participation is usually pretty hectic and pretty right, frenetic right. as people vie to have some of these valuable properties uh, in their own repertoire of properties. Of course. And I think that um, um, it was a lot of cost for us to rent the convention right. center. Uh, it was a limited market that we got to advertise the auction to here in San Diego only. And this year, for the first time ever, we're putting everything online. So. It's, all, it's an online auction. It's an online auction, just like eBay. And if you live in Los Angeles County, or if you live in Sonoma County, can you bid? Or if you live in Iowa, exactly. or you live in uh, New York, and you want to get away from the snow once or twice a year, uh, anywhere it doesn't the matter. World Wide Web right. goes, uh, people will be able to see this auction and participate in it. So let's talk about the 2017 auction. How many properties are available? Right now, 1,600 properties. Wow. 1,200 of those are timeshares. Okay. And 400 are improved properties, meaning a house or a building of some sort on the property, or unimproved properties. They could be as far out as the desert uh, and really not much out there except sand, sure. lizards, and snakes. Or they could be maybe in the East County with boulders and and grass and tall trees. But about 40 of them are homes where people are currently living. There are many that are. I think uh, it's one too many if there are yeah, more than of course, zero. Of course. Uh, but I, 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 really, I really think that we are more than fair in allowing people up to five years before we seek to uh, lower the boom and uh, really sell the property. And like you said, so there are about 400 that, or I guess maybe 350 that are uh, either improved or unimproved yes, property, yes. like you described. Yes. But then there are 1,200 which are timeshares. Yes. Explain that model. Well, the time uh, share timeshares model. Uh, are all different. There's a basic model, I think, that's out there for timeshares. The, the model most commonly mm -hmm. known is that uh, people buy into a timeshare right. and they own one fifty second of that right. timeshare. Right, right. So there's a different week owned by different people throughout the year. Some timeshares though have gotten into what's called reciprocity and the ability to trade uh, so that if you buy a timeshare in San Diego and all of a sudden you want to do something in Hawaii, right. uh, it enables you to trade for your week uh, to go to Hawaii instead of stay here. But all of the timeshares that are available to yes. bid, they are initially based in San Diego County. These are all in San Diego County. Uh, and none go out of it. it. Later on, if the new owner decides right. to trade or, or to work a trade now, for a vacation. Though? I mean, if someone was in arrears on taxes mm -hmm. and they owned a timeshare, mm -hmm in another county, couldn't you foreclose on that or no? Well, we couldn't in another county. In this county, we could sell the property. Uh -huh. And I think that 
you know, a lot happens in people's lives. Right. Uh, it's amazing the stories I've heard over the yeah, years since I've sad. been doing this, uh, about 14 years now. Right. And, and uh, divorce many times uh, right. uh, causes people to almost forget their timeshare. Uh, sometimes right. people uh, pass away and the other spouse forgets they own the timeshare. Right. Uh, sometimes the kids put up a fight and want the timeshare and want to spend more time there than the parents. Uh, right. All kinds of things happen. So let's talk about the bidding process. Sure. Because uh, April 5th, mm -hmm. bidder registration begins. Mm -hmm. uh, what will happen? I mean, if we want to bid on properties, what do we need to do? Well, I think the first thing is to go onto our website. That's right. very easy, www.sdtreastax.com. Right. Okay. Um, that is treasetax.com. Right. Once on that website, just go to our online auction button and it will then bring up welcome to the auction and they're off to the races. They can, Amazing. They can enroll, they can uh, become uh, a bidder. Right. Uh, there's a $35 registration fee okay. that's required that's non-refundable. Okay. And there's a $1,000 cash deposit that's required that is refundable. In of other course. words, if they bid and are not successful, they'll get the money back. And if they don't bid, they'll still get the money back. So on April 27th, registration ends. Yes. But during that period, is it like eBay where you see if someone outbid you? You'll be able to see all the bids, I think, as uh -huh. a bidder. Right. And that'll work out And really so well. then you can increase your bid if you want. Well, I think that it gives people ample opportunity to compete right. to win whatever it is they're bidding on. But there are limits. Uh, that they set on these items, of so they, they keep moving. And then on May fifth, the sale begins. Yes, but doesn't it, wouldn't it begin and end instantly? I mean, whoever has the highest bid done. Well, theoretically, yeah. Right. And, and I think you're absolutely right. But uh, if we break it into different categories, so on the fifth we may start with timeshares. I see. On the next day we may do oh, unimproved properties. I see. I see. On the next day, improved properties. So there's a sequence to it. And uh, I think that if they go online, it will direct them and guide I them see. to where the sequence is. And so in 2015, mm -hmm. your office generated over a million point one dollars, which is a nice collection mm -hmm. based upon the taxes that were in arrears. Um, do you have a sense as to the success of this type of program based upon other counties? We have been in touch with several counties, okay. Orange County, the most recent that mm -hmm. uh, did this, and uh, they are all singing the praises of I the see. firms that we're working with to promote this uh, effort. Now, I, I know you're not in the business of trying to run up the prices or make the most money, but you get some good deals out of these? I mean, forgive me for asking, but... Well, I think yeah. my... My experience tells me that at every auction there are some good deals. Right. Uh, I just don't know which one those are at this point. Right. To throw out some names, for instance, uh, Lauberge in yes. Del Mar. Okay. There are timeshares there. That's a very prestigious place to own a timeshare. Right. Uh, there are others at Aviera in North County, sure, very sure. prestigious place. The beach in Carlsbad, Coronado. Those are some very nice areas, but there are still other areas where there are timeshares. Right. Mission Valley maybe has some, around the county has some. Uh, you just have to get in. It's a buyer beware sale. Thank you for we, saying that. We, it's important we, to know that. We recommend that uh, before people bid on anything, they do their due diligence, they research the property, and they uh, utilize the coordinates and everything that we give them online right. uh, so that they can know what they're bidding okay. on. Well, congratulations <clears throat> on this new uh, project that's being launched in San Diego County. If you want to bid on properties that are available to, uh, that are going to be in auction as a yes. result of failure to pay property taxes, just go to sdtreasuretax.com. He is Dan McAllister. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Local Edition. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much.